Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create um, HDRI lighting for your exterior rendering. Uh, it's quite easy to create HDRI lighting. I'm just going to be showing you two ways of creating it. Uh, to get HDRI is the major thing and you need to decide the kind of mood that you are going for. Um, there are a series of ways to get HDRI but I personally like this website which is hdriavon.com at hdriavon.com you can get tons of free hdris and um, now uh, i just click on hdris then i choose sunset sunrise and sunset and i scroll down i was looking for a particular mood and um, that nobody can decide for you you are the one that will decide what you want out of your image and to determine the kind of hdri that you search for so i look for this and i think i prefer this i just like the mood and now this is quite nice um this is showing you know the way it looks in reflection and all that uh we have 1k 3k 4k 8k 16k so Depends, depends on you know your RAM. If you have good RAMs, of course, you can download the higher resolution. So I'm using 16 gig RAM here, and I'm going to be using the higher resolution, uh, which is the 16K. Of course, you can see they showed some of the renderings that people were, have done with the HDRI. Of course, these renderings, um, in my opinion, I'm not trying in any way to look down on the people that made these designs but in my opinion uh they can look better so i've actually used it as well to create some renderings and you can see here this is an exterior where i used it in and it's really really nice and cool so we are going to be using it in this scene uh to start your hdri let's just first of all uh set our render to vray i'm using vray 5 out fix 2 so now that i've done that i'm going to come to very tool by here and choose very dumb light and uh, just drop it you can drop it anywhere in your scene it doesn't matter so now the next thing i'm going to do is to go to modify tab and uh, under the texture you see we have general here then you see texture click so in very five there is nothing like very hdri again it is now very bitmap but if you are using very next or any version of VLA that is not VLA uh, 5, definitely you are going to search for VLA HDRI. So it's the same thing. So just click on it. Now it's asked me to, you know, locate my HDRI, which is actually already here in the download folder. So I can click on it and you can see the preview. Now the preview might take a little bit of time to load, uh, depending on your RAM, but because I've loaded it before so it's actually showing me immediately so i can click open now with that i can just click on this little icon here which is last vfb or you can right click and choose very vfb so now that i've chosen it i'm going to start to render so i'm just going to click on the start interactive rendering here and let's see the way everything looks so this is the way it looks by default uh, because this file is from um, Revit directly into 3ds Max, uh, some materials are not compatible yet with uh, V-Ray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this uh, little icon here on the V-Ray VAFB, which is actually called uh, debug uh, IPR debug shading. So I'm going to hold on onto it until I see this uh options open out then i'm going to click on the lighting so as to override all the materials so you can see now that we have only single material and it's quite nice so the next thing for me to do is i'm looking at it the position of the hdri uh, sunset light is not what i want so um i'm going to just select the light and um, come to the dome light option here you can see dome light and i'm going to choose lock texture to icon so by doing that 
I have the option now to rotate. So I will click on the rotate tool and I can start rotating. And you can see as I rotate now, the HDR moves and uh, the sunset also is going to another direction, you can see. So what I'm going to also do is instead of using the IPR debug shading, I want to make sure that some objects, especially the glass and the windows, they are not overridden. So I'm going to disable the IPR debug option and instead go to render setup and uh, under VRA, I'm going to click global switches and choose VRA override MTL. And I'm going to click on uh, non option to put the material I want. Of course, it's going to be VRA MTL override. So now, sorry, it's going to be VRA MTL. Now that I've done that, the next thing for me to do is to exclude. I already know the name of this glass panel, which is uh, actually system. So according to Revit, it calls them system panel list. And also I'm going to search for windows and I'm going to make sure that the windows also they are excluded. So I'm going to stop the rendering and press interactive rendering again. You, you will see now that every other thing is overriding except uh the window and the cotton wall. So it helps me because now I can choose to rotate the HDRI and see the effect that I want on this class here. So I guess this is quite nice for me. The second thing is the illumination. The HDRI is still dark a little bit. So what I can do about that, let me close the render setup, is to come to the modify tab here. Yeah. And change the multiplier so let's change it to 10 and see the way it looks with 10 as an option you can see the HDR is bright and uh, you know really really looking cool and nice so if you think the 10 is much in my own case I think it's much let's try 5 you can just play with the value until when you see the, the one that actually fits into what you want I think this is nice for me um there are some things that I would like to quickly adjust here and there to actually make the image looks you know as nice as i want one of them is to enable the lens effect on the layer um editor so it's quite crazy i don't know what's happening right now so i'm going to pause till it's finished doing whatever it's doing you can see the ball rolling on the cursor and i wouldn't want any crash oops it's crashed it's crashed so the reason it's crashed um is because my graphics card probably is not um strong enough i'm using a radeon graphics card on this system of course you should know that radeon graphics card especially the old ones are not that uh strong you know you, you can't compete in video graphics guys so i believe that's the reason so i'm going to quickly um set it up again i'm going to pause the video and uh, when i reach where i'm going to be using lens flare i'm going to be letting you know all right let's start it again and this time i believe it will not crash so i just click on the um lens effect and i click enable and um, now i can increase the intensity and you can see the effect of the lens effect right now um, i can increase the bloom as well to give much more bloom effect um, i'm going to increase the intensity much more that's quite you know cool over there um, I guess I can just quickly, you know, put lens scratch. Okay. Lens dust as well. Let's see if the settings on them are okay. So basically, such are the things that, you know, you can do. And um, I guess I am going to be adding much more. Okay. Let me add 
filmic tone map. So filmic tone map is giving me some nice contrast uh, and I love to play with it. There is no uh, rule to how you can play with it. Just try and uh, work on it till you see what you think is okay for you. Um, okay. I think okay. I guess I might use curve as well to just give me some much more contrast. So that's it. If I go hundred percent now. You see, this is really, really nice and looking cool. So, this is just one way of doing and you know creating HDRI. And I'm going to be showing you the second way now. It's quite simpler than the uh, well, 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 well. Don't let me say it's simpler, but yet there are two ways. So, um, I'm going to stop the rendering. I'm going to delete the HDRI lights. Now, what I'm going to do is to come to rendering and choose environment and just click on vray bitmap so now i can so let me delete all these guys here i can just drag it as instance into the material editor then from the material editor i can go and locate the hdri which is this So I'll change it to Serica and um, now I can start the rendering to see the way it looks. So this is how it looks right now. It's quite nice. Uh, if I change the rotation, so we have horizontal rotation here. So let's put it at 145. Okay, that's not it. So I am going to make the increment maybe back to sixty. So it's going uh, the other way. So I'm going to make it minus ninety. So it will come this way. And I think minus one forty five should give me that. Uh, look, you can see now. So it's going anti clockwise. Now, this is good and nice. What I can do now to increase the intensity is to just come to the overall exposure. Let me give it five. Nothing changed. So, definitely, is the render exposure. So, on five here, it's quite much. So, let me put this back to one. So, you can see now if the render exposure is one you can see the way it looks if i increase the overall exposure to five you can see it's bright you know in the atmosphere and everything so if i now change the render exposure which directly affects the render you can see so what i always do is to leave the overall exposure at one and play with the render exposure till I get whatever I want, you can see that it gets brighter with render exposure. But for now, I think five is okay, or maybe six. So, and if we wait for it, it's going to show us some nice effects with the um, lens effect. So that's just how to create a uh, really um, HDRI lighting so you can use any other one but personally for some reasons and which reasons are they uh, i don't like to use this second option because in some ways not every time but it creates some splotches and make the image look a little bit blurry somehow so i prefer putting uh, the hdr inside the hdr uh, inside the really dome light and set it and the disadvantage of that also is that there are some noises which will require the, you know, to help your render setting. And, you know, when you up your render setting, of course, render time will go higher 
but I still prefer it to using it directly inside in, in, sorry pardon my blabbering inside um environment map directly so you can decide which one works for you you can test them out and um you know choose your own option so also i believe this takes close to about 15 minutes i guess oh more than 15 minutes but i think it's worth it you can see that uh, if you don't have good graphics card your 3ds mask can crash and also if you uh if it crash you can always come back and work also i i'm seeing something now it seems like the perspective at the back does not match what i'm having at the front here it seems a little bit hilly here and higher so i can just come to vertical rotation maybe i should put it on three and let's see the way it looks so you can see it goes low but i think it's too low maybe i should just leave it on one so you can see one one is quite cool or maybe 0.5 so um maybe two maybe 1.5 okay i think i prefer the 1.5 you can just play with it you have no um nothing stopping you to play with all this till you get the desired result the major thing is for you to know how it works and i've already shown you please let me know in the comment section if this makes sense and what would you like us to talk about in the next tutorial. Thank you.